Hello guys, Count Sniping, and today we're going to be showing you how to make a clan logo like ours in Cinema 4D and Photoshop. Now, to make something along like, you know, like like this, what you got to do is make sure you have Photoshop and Cinema 4D both downloaded and installed and working correctly. So the first step you want to do is open up Cinema 4D, and I'm just going to make a new one here. You, by doing that, you go to File, New, and it should make a new blank canvas. The next step you want to do is go to the rendering settings here, highlighted on the screen currently, and you want to click on Output, and then change the width to 1280 by 720. You then want to head over to Save, and you want to change it to PNG, and also change the out click on Alpha Channel and Straight Alpha, and then change the save location to Desktop, and call it YouTube Logo, or whatever you want to call it. You can then go to anti-analyzing and change it to best, and now you're ready to make your logo. So the first step, what you want to do, is you want to hold down on this blue box here, and you want to click on tube, and it'll create a tube in the center of the the, the, the canvas here, and you want to change the inner radius to 200, and then change the outer one to 250. This will create a nice circle like this, and you can now go down here to the uh, the position and then rotation, and you want to go where it says P and change that to 90, and then that will force it to go into the 90 degree angle, which we're going to work with. So right now the center of it is where that green button is there, and um, you want to click on the Mo graph over here, and you want to click on Mo text. You will then create a text, uh, you know, kind of in the middle of the whole the whole uh, circle you've just made and what you want to do is place it right into the middle and you want to make sure it's level with everything else. You don't need to worry about it yet because we are still editing the text so if we go to object it should automatically be on there. You want to rename it to the name of your clan. Mine is obviously Khan's so I'm actually going to make mine Khan's this time instead of just CR and we're going to change the font to Transformers, uh, which is here. This is my favorite font to use. And we are going to resize it, of course, because currently it does not fit. Now, you can either resize it or you can drag it forward all the way to the front. That is really up to you. I am going to, for this video purpose, just drag it to the front because I think it also looks pretty cool when you have that kind of 3D effect um, on full full display like this. And you want to change the depth to 50 if you're going to be doing this, alongside if you're putting it in the center of the, the, the circle. So we are going to drag this out a tiny bit more, because I don't want it to look too um, badly done, although this is only a tutorial. Um, and that, that's looking pretty good as it is right now. We're just going to make sure it doesn't poke out the edges, nope, that's fine. So now we've done that, you want to click on the caps and change it to filter cap, oh uh, sorry, fill, fill it cap and same with the other one. And that will just, you know, make this nice 3D effect here. I'll just show you the difference if I just go on cap and then that's what it looks like normally. And then with the filter cap, fill it cap, sorry, it will change it to that and it makes it look a lot better. Now I do recommend keeping it on five centimeters. Again, it is up to you, you can change it, but like I said, this is a video tutorial and five centimeters is my recommendation. So now you've done that, you can pretty much just continue on with the next step, which is gonna be changing the R in the middle, your middle font, and resizing it. Again, if you're only having two letters in there, you can resize them by clicking on the uh, little resize tool here and if you just want to resize one of them you want to right click on the font over here and click ed make editable and that will just allow each and every single def you know letter make you know editable so you want to click on the R like this and now you're allowed to resize it and stuff and I'm going to resize mine to my desired size like that looks pretty good to me so I'm going to leave it as that y it is up to you uh, how you how you make yours. Um, you don't have to have the big R in the middle, again it's up to you, but because I like the R I'm going to have it in the middle and you can again change the um, the size by using the arrow keys and stuff 
and I'm just going to do that now. So I think that looks pretty cool. I think that looks extremely cool actually. So we're going to leave that like that. And we are now ready to go onto the Photoshop side of things. But before we do that, we need to render it out. And we're going to choose the position we want it to be rendered in. So to capture that 3D effect, I'm going to be using the kind of... Uh, I think this looks like a pretty good... Yeah, this this will do. We, we'll use this kind of angle here. It is up to you though. And we're going to click on the Render This uh, Active Project. And I'll just render it out like that. And I'll save it to our desktop where we set it to um, save. So if I just go to my desktop now... Uh, we just minimize that. Here it is. It's it's saved. We've got a transparent background as well. So if we load up our Photoshop, it won't take too long to open. Uh, there we go. And you want to just drag in the file into there. So now we've got our new clan logo in our Photoshop file, and we need to center this now. So to center it, you want to click on this um, the little the first tool up here, and press Control and A. And I'll just select the whole thing, and you want to click the middle one here, and the middle one here. And I'll just center the whole thing. So, if you want to add a flag onto it, or add a picture onto it to make it look a lot cooler, or even add a material, before we do anything, just to make sure it comes out like a nice clean uh, image, we want to change the tolerance of the, the fill bucket tool to 10, and we want to set every single one of these things here to completely white. Make sure you get all of the individual gaps and stuff as well, because otherwise it won't come out as nice as you want it to. Uh, you don't have to worry about the text, because we want that to stand out a bit more than the uh, other back the background. So, and now what you want to do is go to Google, so google.co.uk or .com, and you want to find the image you want. So I'm going to use the uh, German flag for this one, just because I think the German flag looks cool. And you want to click on right click and click on copy if you can find one which you can copy. Some of these you can't obviously. Actually, I like this uh, kind of gravelly effect we've got on this one here. Um, I guess we can't use that. I guess we can use this one. Can we use this? Uh, hmm. There's only a couple I can use of the German one, which is a bit disappointing. Um. We'll give this one a go. That looks kind of cool. Try and find ones which are original. You don't just want the default flag. Although I know in this image I've just got the UK flag. But if you've got something that has you know, some kind of material on it, it'll make it look a lot better. So you want to resize it until it, you know, you've know, you got pretty much every single color you can see on the flag on there. Or of the image on there. Which I believe I do right now. Let me just see. Yeah, I do. And you want to right click on it and click on Create Clipping Mask. And that will just... Uh, make it look like this. Now right now it does not look very nice at all so what you want to do is click on this and click on multiply and that will just make it um, overlay on every single one. You can also click on overlay but that doesn't look as nice. Uh, you can click on lighten but you got darken as well. You've got a couple you can choose. Any of the ones from underneath the multiply thing here will make it look cool like I've just um, like I'm choosing now but we're going to stick with multiply on this one because I think it looks the coolest. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, before we finish, you want to click on save as. And I'm just going to call it YouTube Logo 2. Uh, save as a, P a PSD. And also save as a PNG as well. Um, and that will just make sure you can, if you're using it for a video or whatever, you can just lay it over that. Uh, if you do have any questions, make sure to put them in the description below and I'll try and answer them for you. I uh, hope this video helped, like I said, and uh, make sure to subscribe, I'll just show you the finished project, uh, there it is. I think it looks pretty cool, it's really up to your own personal opinion what you think it looks like. Um, we'll just compare these two side to side. But like I said, my, my, my skills on Cinema 4D really do need to improve, but it is, you know, it's a pretty good finished product I've got there and I'll see you guys in the next video which should hopefully be another either tutorial video or maybe a montage video and I will um, see you guys then.